Welcome to Glacier National Park and this the ultimate travel guide to the park. In this video I'll show you how to get here, how to get around, where to stay, where to eat, and what there is to do and see in this, the crown of the continent. Getting here does take a little bit of effort. The nearest major airport to the park is Glacier Park International Airport near Kalispell, Montana. The much larger Calgary International Airport is a lot further away as it's over 200 miles north from the park. If you prefer traveling by train, Amtrak's Empire Builder Route stops at the nearby towns of East Glacier Park and West Glacier. If you're traveling by car, US Highway 2 is the main route for accessing Glacier National Park, while Route 89 provides access to the east side of Glacier National Park. Driving around the park is one of the most beautiful ways to explore Glacier. Remember that this park is one of the busy ones, so there is congestion that may be a little bit confronting. It's not uncommon for there to be long wait times around the parking lots, visitor centers, and entrance stations. As with most national parks, there is a shuttle bus, and it's free. There is the summer shuttle service, a hiker-biker shuttle service, and the shuttle also runs along the famous going to the Sun Road. Glacier National Park is open year-round, but the peak season runs from June through September, when all of the facilities and roads are accessible. The famous going to the Sun Road, which offers breathtaking views of the park, typically opens in late June or early July and closes in October or early November due to snowfall. For fewer crowds and beautiful fall colors, consider visiting in the month of September. Winter enthusiasts can explore the park's winter wonderland from December through to March, but keep in mind that only limited services and activities are available during this time. Glacier National Park has several options for lodging in the park. The two best known would be the historic Many Glacier Hotel and the Lake McDonald Lodge. Like all national parks, it's strongly recommended that you secure your reservations many months in advance of your intended travel. There's also accommodation just outside of the park and also just over the border into Canada is the beautiful Prince of Wales Hotel in Waterton National Park. If getting back to nature means camping, Glacier has more than 1,000 camping sites across 13 campgrounds. This is an incredible number of campsites and dwarfs many larger national parks. But as with all national parks, when reservations are required, it's best to reserve your campsite early. Reservations can be made through recreation.gov. Thankfully, Glacier does have a decent selection of restaurants and cafes in the park. There are in fact nine restaurants, grills, and cafes in Glacier. They're located at Apgar, Lake McDonald Lodge, Many Glacier, and Rising Sun. Of course, they do get busy in the summer, so plan ahead. My favorite place is the Ptarmigan Dining Room simply because of the view. If you enjoy National Park videos, please consider subscribing as I add at least two National Park videos every single month. Let's start with perhaps the best known of the many attractions in Glacier, going to the Sun Road. This is a scenic 50 mile drive that takes you through the heart of the park and offers breathtaking views of mountains, waterfalls, and glaciers. The road is open year round near the west entrance, although the entire road does not usually open until late June at the very earliest. The alpine sections of going to the Sun Road typically close for the winter around the third Monday of October, but this can happen earlier due to wintry weather. I remember driving this road about 30 years ago in August and it snowed, so be prepared. Located along the Going to the Sun Road, Logan Pass is the highest point accessible by car in the park. It's a popular starting point for hiking trails, including the Highline Trail, and offers panoramic views of the surrounding mountains. The largest and most accessible lake in the park, Lake McDonald, is a stunning alpine lake surrounded by dense forests and mountain peaks. Visitors can enjoy boat tours, fishing, and scenic drives along its shores. The famous Grinnell Glacier is one of the more special places in the park. Hikers can take the Grinnell Glacier Trail to witness its stunning blue ice and the spectacular scenery that surrounds it. 
The Many Glacier Valley is known for its impressive rock formations, including Brunel Point and Mount Gould. Located in the southeastern part of the park, Two Medicine is a beautiful, tranquil, and importantly, less visited area that's known for its scenic boat tours, hiking trails, and Two Medicine Lake. And of course, this list of attractions only scratches the surface as there are some other beautiful locations, lakes, and waterfalls that are well worth a visit. Glacier has over 700 miles of hiking trails catering to probably all skill levels, from short nature walks to multi-day backcountry adventures. You can do it all right here. For more information, check out the National Park website, and you can text the National Park Service to receive updates, closures, and postings. In addition to hiking, other activities include biking, boating, fishing, horseback riding, whitewater rafting, and kayaking. And of course, don't forget the many winter activities associated with the park as well. Glacier National Park is home to diverse wildlife, including grizzly bears, black bears, mountain goats, bighorn sheep, elk, moose, wolves, lynx, mountain lions, and the list goes on. In fact, Glacier has one of the largest populations of grizzlies in the lower 48. So be sure you carry bear spray and importantly, know how to use it. There's also 276 species of birds. Glacier National Park is adjacent to Canada's Waterton Lakes National Park and together they form the Waterton Glacier International Peace Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Waterton Lakes National Park is much like Glacier in that it offers a captivating blend of majestic mountains, clear glacial lakes, and abundant wildlife. Must-see attractions include the iconic Prince of Wales Hotel, the serene Waterton Lake, and the scenic Red Rock Canyon. The park has wonderful hiking, and don't forget to enjoy a boat ride on Upper Waterton Lake. In addition to Waterton National Park in Canada, don't forget to check out the cultural heritage of the Blackfeet Indians at the Museum of the Plains Indian in nearby Browning, Montana. The Flathead National Forest is adjacent to Glacier and has an amazing array of outdoor opportunities, including over 2,000 miles of hiking trails in this 2.4 million acre piece of land. And the Hungry Horse Dam and Power Plant is interesting to many, and they have a visitor center that is worth looking into. So there you go, Glacier National Park. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel.